Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Kelly. So I wanted to make this video today. Because I don't know if I ever told you guys, but... 2017, the 4th of July. Me and my ex went to Short Beach in Stratford, Connecticut. And we went swimming in Long Island Sound. Um, that night I went home. And my ankle was red and itchy. And... I showed my mom, she's like, we'll keep an eye on it. The next day, it was more red, swollen, and it was like, it looked like something had bit me or something. So, two days has gone by since then, and my ankle was getting worse. Then I think it was like the 6th I seen my kids, and my ankle was starting to turn black and gray in the center. Um, I went to Bridgeport Hospital that night, and they told me that it was just a simple infection, and they gave me antibiotics to treat a, um, to treat a bladder infection, sent me home. So I go home, I fall asleep, and then on the 7th I wake up and I go to walk and I couldn't even put pressure on my ankle. And there was bubbles and it was black and it was, the redness had spread. So I showed my sisters and they told me and my mom told me to go to Yale and Haven. So I did. I get to Yale and... They tell me, as soon as I walk into the building, and see my ankle, you're not leaving, you're getting a minute. I was kind of going in and out of consciousness through the whole day. I remember them popping the blister on my ankle and getting the swab, and then I remember waking up and then going to the room upstairs. I remember ordering food. Then the food coming and then being told I couldn't eat because I might need emergency surgery. So, uh, they did a CAT scan with, um, dye, which ended up showing that there was no gases underneath the skin, so I was allowed to eat and didn't need emergency surgery. <clears throat> um, I went to sleep, and then they were doing my vitals <clears throat> overnight. And the nurse is like, you need to sit up, you need to drink this water. And apparently I was showing signs of septic shock. Could have lost my foot. It was really, really bad. It looked like I had some chemical burn or something. Um, so I think I stayed like three or four days at the hospital. Um... It was really bad. Like, they told me if I would have went back to sleep that day, didn't go to Yale, and I did, I might have not woken up. Um, I had contracted, it's called a vibrial bacterial infection, it is in the same group as flesh eating disease. It's horrible. So, they released me from the hospital. And then they give me antibiotics for like a week or two. And as soon as I finished the antibiotics, my infection on my ankle relapsed. Like, immediately. So, I had to go back to Yale, got readmitted, more IV antibiotics. And then, I think I stayed in the hospital for like a day or two the second time. And got sent home. I had to wear that I have a pretty scar on my ankle. I'm thankful for all the doctors and nurses who saved my life at Yale. And I am thankful that I didn't lose a foot and that I'm still here. And I don't know, I'll have to see, but I don't know if my little video I made with all the pictures from zero to the time I was out of the hospital until the time it healed to the time I got back to Long Island Sound and didn't go in the water because I would never go in that water again. I have to see if that video is posted on YouTube. If not, I will post it.
Now these guys just wanted to make a short video tell you about that. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Not give up hope. We recover.